you're going to need. I hope you've gotten your pin cushion with your straight pins. These are your straight pins and this is your pin cushion. This is your pin cushion. We need sewing machine needles. We need hand needles. Hand sewing needles. You'll need bobbins. You'll need more than one bobbin so that you can keep won't have to keep threading bobbins over and over again. You'll need a tracing wheel. This is to trace your pattern when you get started. You're going to need elastic because we're going to use elastic at first. You'll need thread. Lots of colors. Basic, white, black, and a few other colors to start. You're going to need a stitch breaker or a seam ripper. You'll need a good pair of scissors. They don't need to be expensive. You'll need some safety pins and you'll need zippers according to the garment that you're going to be making. We always need a measuring tape. We're going to need a, a needle threader or maybe you don't. If you have good eyes you won't need one. These are, this is your tracing paper, and this is tracing, this is your seam binder. This is your tracing paper, which comes in sheets. And this is your seam binding, and this is your interfacing, or pellon. Okay, these are your notions that you're going to be needing. And if you need other notions, we'll find out after we get to that next stage, when we decide on what garment you're going to make, decide on something simple, a skirt or a pair of pants, and we're going to use elastic in the waist rather than start you out putting in a zip. Hi again. The second part of our lesson concerns our sewing machine and the parts. We're going to start with the sewing machine itself. Your on off switch is somewhere located on the side. Mine is here. Find your on and off switch and turn it off and on. Get to know your sewing machine. I'm going to turn it around so I can see and you can see it also. Then we're going to start. This is our on off switch that's on the side. You'll see it. And then we're going to have our stitch selector. This is your stitch selector. should be right about here. You're going to find that. And then, that's the stitch selector. We have our bobbin winding and our tension are here. This is your bobbin winder and the place for your thread. This is your spool pin right here that you put your thread on. This is your thread, your bobbin holder, and your winder, right here. You'll thread your bobbin according to your sewing machine. And this is your thread guide. This is going to be your thread guide here, here. Mine goes down and it comes up. It comes up and then it comes around. And then you thread your needle according to your sewing machine. And then we have our tension dial. You have a tension dial right here. And then you're going to tighten or loosen your thread according to your stitch. We're going to learn how to make our stitches. And we're going to learn how to make straight stitches. Depending on whether you're a really a beginner or whether you know a little about the sewing machine or not, 
we're going to start here. This is your needle plate. This is your needle plate here. These are your uh, bobbin. This is your bobbin curve here. Your bobbin is located in here. If you've studied your sew machine, you know where your bobbin goes, and this is your bobbin case. That's your bobbin case. This is your reverse stitch here. You press down to reverse your stitch. This is your needle clamp screw, right here. It's going to hold your needle. Then we're going to close this. That's your bobbin cover plate. And then we have our presser foot. It's here. This is your presser foot. If I tell you to lower your presser foot, you're going to lower it. This is lowering it, raising it. And you're going to sew with your presser foot lowered. Only when you get ready to remove your garment or your piece of fabric that you're working on, you'll raise it, raise your needle, and take out, to then break your thread or cut your thread. Never pull against the needle. Lower it and raise it and it'll let release your thread. This is your hand wheel. This is your foot pedal. This is your foot pedal. And this is your presser foot that you're going to use to sew your sewing chain. This is your spool pen. I show, I show you this. And this is your bo I showed you your bobbin and your bobbin case. I believe these are most of the parts. I don't know if your sewing machine might have a different wording for the parts, and it might not. They might be the same. But as we go along, we'll get to know what we're talking about so that you'll understand what I'm saying, and you'll know what I'm doing, and you'll understand how to do as I'm saying for you to do. Okay, that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you.